Perseid Meteosha, a celestial spectacle that captivates thousands of sky watchers around the world to see the beautiful meteors falling towards us. But NASA says that at its peak, around 100 meteors will fall towards us and burn up in the upper atmosphere. So what's the reality? 100 meteors an hour or just an overhyped celestial event? In this video, we'll find out the reality of meteor showers with my steep DSLR camera and its kit lens. So before doing the expectation versus reality check, first we need to know a little bit about Perseid meteor shower. So Perseid is a meteor shower that peaks every year around mid-August and is active till 22nd August this year and is considered to be the best meteor shower after Geminid meteor shower in my opinion. The Perseid meteor shower radiant is located near the constellation of Perseus and Cassiopeia. Perseid meteor shower occurs due to the dust particles and debris left by the comet Swift Turtle. This cloud of particles stretches along the orbit of comet as it travels on its 133 year orbit around the sun. These particles have been a part of the cloud for around a thousand years. Most of these meteors burn up in the upper atmosphere of Earth at around 80 or 50 miles. So to capture this meteor shower, I woke up early in the morning around 3 am on 13th August and went about 50 kilometers away from Jaipur city to the nearby Nahargarh wildlife sanctuary to avoid light pollution. In my mind, capturing Perseids was going to be really easy. I envisioned getting one brilliant meteor trail after another with my camera. But here's the reality check. Meteor photography is not just about pointing and shooting. It's about patience, timing and a lot of, I mean really a lot of luck. Meteors don't always show up exactly where you want them to. Sometimes you are left waiting for long stretches of time hoping to catch the elusive streak of light. And then there are challenges like light pollution and clouds. These factors can significantly impact the quality of your shots. And when your camera does actually capture a shooting star, it might not be as brilliant as you hoped. Have a look at this shot that I captured. It has a lot of clouds. But if you look carefully, there's a meteor on the right side. And just as I captured that meteor, a swarm of cloud came and blocked the entire sky. I captured around 4 meteors in a span of about 1 and a half hour. But there were many meteors that I saw but were not captured by my camera as I was not pointing in that direction. And another reason is that I am using a kit lens instead of a wide angle lens. So in total, I captured around 9 meteors from a Bortle 5 sky. So where are the other meteors? The news agencies were reporting 100 meteors per hour. Of course many were hidden by the clouds but definitely, then also the number would be nowhere near 100 meteors. The purpose of this video is to make you aware that meteor showers are really amazing celestial events but news agencies and even science communicators create unprecedented hype around these celestial events and people set high expectations. And when they only see 5 or 10 meteors per hour, they are disappointed and never carry out astronomy as a hobby. The problem is that most of these media outlets that are telling you to observe the meteor shower have themselves no idea of how to look a meteor shower in real life. Three years ago, when I first saw a meteor shower, it was a geminid meteor shower, I also had very high expectations, but was disappointed when I only saw 3 to 4 meteors. Meteor showers are really amazing celestial event, no doubt in it, but they are overhyped and moreover, most people observe them from a metropolitan cities where there is a lot of light pollution. So now, let's see the best images that I got. This one is my favorite, where you can see a bright meteor on the right hand side. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you.